Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over Kartra email marketing, most specifically the Kartra sequences. This is something very similar to Active Campaign. In fact, I'd say it's a great Active Campaign alternative, aside from the fact that Kartra has a whole lot more than them. Their email marketing sequences and broadcasts are fantastic. Allow me to show you how it works. If you haven't gotten to try out Kartra, I will put a link down below. They come with a 14 day trial, so you can even follow along with me if you like. So, uh, in case you're not familiar where I am, I'm going to be under the community communications tab and then there's going to be sequences. I have this page up because I want to keep it there so that I remind myself to remind you about something while I'm going through this. Either way, let's start with these starting rules. This is going to be the trigger which sets off how someone gets added to this. So normally if you want to create an automation follow-up, this is going to be when someone opts in to a specific opt-in form. So if you've already created your opt-in form, you want to select it here. And of course, then you click on add. Now there's going to be plenty of other ways to start this off or trigger it. But for this example, this will happen after someone goes through an opt-in form. Let's click on save. Now the first thing we want to do is send out an email. Okay, so let's drag this here. And I'm not going to actually write out the emails. That's going to be up to you. But for this, we want to do right after previous step. This is going to be immediately. And like I said before, I have this up. So something to keep in mind is that when you're creating your form, you can send a welcome message if you want, but you don't have to because you're going to be doing it in this section. So as it says, whenever someone opts into your form, you can send a welcome message. You can pretty much turn this off because you can put it in this spot as well. Just so you know, I don't want you to get confused there. Okay, so we're going to have this sent out right away. This is the initial one. Uh, time and day, I like pretty much any time there. Communication, let's just call it follow up one. Okay. Gateway, that's going to pretty much be your information there. Looks good. Recipients, send if. This is going to be if they opt into that specific list we talked about. So let's select it. So subscribe to a specific list. Let's select our list. Okay. And we can do add. You can always create a new list, but I imagine if you created an opt-in form, you created one for it. Let's click on add. And next. Split test, this is great if you want to test out, say, the conversions. It's going to be perfect if you have a product launch and you want to see what's going to convert the best or something similar to that where you're doing any type of promo. But to keep this simple, let's go with single email. Next. And this is going to be your content. Give me one second. I'm just going to put some information. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like I said, this is going to be up to you. This is going to be the subject line. This is going to be the preview text, which is optional, but this is a short summary of the email content. If you want to utilize that, it wouldn't hurt. Uh, this is going to be the body where you can obviously put everything in there. They have a few dynamic variables in case you want to use those. You can send a test email, but just to keep this short, let's click on next. And automations, if you want to add those, I'm going to leave those blank because I want to make sure you get the idea of how this works when it comes to follow-ups. Let's click on create. Perfect. And what we want to do is connect this. So if we hover over this half circle, let's connect it to right here, release. And all we need to do is activate. And just like that, we're going to have our first email sent out immediately after, as you can see, this starts. So this one gets sent right away. So if you're doing an email follow-up sequence where it's going to be automated, you have to ask yourself, how much time do I want to have in between each emails? Either way, while you think of that, we're going to move to the next email. Let's drag it under here. And now we want to wait a number of days and hours because you don't want all these going out immediately. That would not be good. You'd send out like all, you know, five or 10 of them. So I'd recommend around one to two days. You know, two is fine. That gives you more time to write them up and put them in there specifically. Uh, as long as your audience knows how frequently you're going to be sending out your emails, then at least they have the groundwork for it and they can expect that, right? So two days isn't going to be bad. Once again, I like any day at any time as long as it's two days later. Once again, let's do follow up. Okay, continuing on with that. Gateway is going to be the same. Recipients, once again, this is if they are on that list. So let's select that. Once again, it's going to our opt in list. Add. Next. Single email. And of course, this is going to be once again, I think this is kind of getting into the repetition now, right? So let's click on next and create. And don't forget that what you want to do is connect this and, of course, activate. So as you can see, this is probably one of the most basic ways of doing it. If you have OCD like me, you might spend some time trying to straighten these up as much as possible. I kid you not, I've done it before. <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of cool things you can do. You can send an email. You can send an SMS. There's going to be the split. So something would be like you can put this after and say if they didn't open an email, 
send another one with a different, you know, broadcast subject line or with a different link. That's going to be helpful if you have a very important email and anyone who hasn't opened it, you want to send to unopens. You can obviously set something to wait a little bit more. There's going to be automations. You can unsubscribe someone. You can move them to a different list. You can add tags if they click on an email. Like the, the possibilities are literally endless here, but I just want to kind of get your brain running when it comes to utilizing this sequences for email follow-ups, which you've seen right here. So like I talked about, we already have that initial message covered. So make sure you just don't have one here because you're going to be sending one out right here. And I am in the form section under opt-ins where it says welcome message. Like I talked about, we have one right here, so we don't need an extra. Either way, that's going to be the basic premise when it comes to just using cartridge sequences. I guess you could say for beginners, right? Because that's usually what a lot of people want to do. They love the automation. They love the email follow-ups. And this is going to be Kartra's fancy way of doing it. So that concludes this video. I hope it at least gives you some good ideas when it comes to getting up and running so that you can actually create your squeeze page, set up your opt-in form, and then of course, get some emails going out on a recurring basis so that you can keep your visitors uh, occupied with value. Maybe you have some great products to send them, but you know your business the best. That's going to be up to you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. There's also the link to Kartra. They do come with a 14-day trial in case you want to test them out. Like I said, they're very similar to Active Campaign for just for their specific email marketing features, and they have a whole lot more given the fact they're an all-in-one platform. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.